Morning, welcome to Waffle Wednesday. Uh, firstly, I had a few messages last week. Where was last week's waffle? I was at a funeral last week, unfortunately, so yeah, there wasn't one last week. Um, and as I've said before, I don't want to do them every week unless I've got something to discuss or update you with. I don't, I don't really see the point. I know it's waffling, but I waffled him. I waffle enough anyway. I'm also not driving today. I've parked up on the way to work because I've got some notes in front of me that I uh, really need to tell you about. And I got told off last time for reading post-it notes while I was driving along. So, firstly, we're going to update you on uh, where we are with the cars. Um, all good with both of them, really. No, no problems with either. The Allegro is obviously still temperamental with the suspension the one side, although it's still up two, two and a half weeks or whatever since uh, it dropped last time. But... I've now got a new pipe for the the other side. Uh, Lee, the guy who I filmed the ambassador with the other day, uh, has manufactured one for me. So we will get round to changing that at a later date. But what I want to do with the Allegro really is just keep it going, even if I have to keep topping the fluid up um, over the next couple of months while the weather's still nice. And then when it comes off the road in the winter, then we can get back to more tinkering videos and, you know, the channel will start showing that type of stuff again uh, but while there's no tinkering obviously this is why the odd vlog is on and uh, also the new idea that I had the Agatha Meats thing which we started last week with Lee's ambassadors and his princesses that has been my most popular video I mean I know we're only a little channel just coming up to 500 subs but we got over a thousand views within 24 hours which is mental for this channel anyway um, so yeah, seems popular. I'd like to do that some more. Um, hopefully we can find a few more cars and owners that want to do that. Uh, have a look at that video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, I don't want to review people's cars. I want to meet them, let them talk about their passion for cars, go for a drive, etc, etc. We'll see how that goes. We'll We'll tweak it as we go along, but I don't want to be like other channels like Hubnut or iDriver Classic where I actually drive your cars. I don't want to do that. So we're always looking for bits and bobs to, to change and expand the channel with. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, other stuff, just reading my notes now. I've got a couple of thanks. Obviously, thanks to Lee for making the pipes. Um, there's a chap I've never met called Ian Fitz. I hope I've uh, said your name right, Ian. He's from Scotland originally, but now he lives in Carlisle. Um, I don't know if you'll remember, I had a problem with the fuel gauge on the Allegro, temperamental, messing me about. Couldn't find an original one, and if I did, they were really stupid money. Um, I posted on Facebook about it and got a message the next day from, from Ian. Never met the guy. He'd spent hours researching part numbers and then trolling eBay um, for people that had listed them as the wrong thing or whatever. And he'd found me a, a brand new one on eBay, which was something ridiculous, like 14 quid delivered. And, and it was just way above and beyond what someone who doesn't know me would do. But uh, he sent me a message. This is the link. This will fit. This is the right thing. I bought it. It came and it fits perfectly. It's in the Allegro. I've got a, a fuel gauge that works. The one that was in there... A few weeks ago, I I had a mess about with it, but couldn't really find anything wrong with it, other than it was a bit sticking. The float itself was full of petrol, and it had sunk. It had got a little hole in it, so that weren't helping. So maybe that works as well now. But anyway, I've got a working fuel gauge, thanks to Ian. There's another chap I know through Facebook and cars and stuff, never met again. Michael Hudson. Hello, Michael. Um keep sending me links of lovely shiny things that I'd like to buy for the Allegro. Unfortunately, as I've said to him, I'm saving madly at the minute for the new motorhome. We, I don't know if, you, if, if you've been following the channel for a while. We've been motorhomers and camper vanners for years and um, we sold it while the lockdown was on because we knew we weren't going to use it and we've, we've put a deposit on a new one which doesn't arrive till November, December so madly saving every penny I can for that uh, hence not really wanting the cars to break down and although lovely trinkets keep coming into my inbox oh you, you'd like this I would like it but 
I've got to get my head around saving this awesomely large amount of money for the new van. So, thanks are done. Um, I've done the update on the channel. Cars, as I say, Agatha's fine. Miranda's fine. Plan with Miranda long term is um, this won't be a keeper for me because I can only really have two cars. Um, and I think Agatha will have to, she'll have to stay. So I think the plan in my head at the minute is to keep this one, certainly until the the motorhomes arrived and paid for and, you know. And then, so this is MOT till June next year, I think. I'd like to keep it till uh, sort of February, March, I suppose, and then maybe get rid of it with a, with a couple of years, a couple of years, I wish, a couple of months MOT on it and, and find something else, but I don't know yet. Um, the show at Gaydon on September the 6th, uh, the, the BL show, that's going ahead. It's pre-book only. I'm booked in in the Allegro, so if you want to go to that show, you need to get your ticket booked online before the end of April. April that's gone August for the end of August and I'll be there if you want to come and poke fun at the car um let's have a look have I got any more no 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 just amuse yourself oh yeah videos so what I want to try and do if I do the Agatha meets and um tinkering videos I want to try and have one in the in the bag at all time if you like the pressure to film and edit and get it online in one day is immense the the video what i did with allegro versus maestro took so long to do with three cameras and messing around god sake it was a nightmare and the one with lee last weekend and the ambassadors it, it really does take a whole day to film and fart around for for 20 odd minutes viewing so what i want to try and do is get a few in the bank if i can and and then do a waffle on a wednesday not every Wednesday, and release a video on a Saturday for the weekend. Really, you know, one a week, sometimes two a week, is is, is all you're going to get. The pressure is really high on trying to do these. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, I think that is probably all I've got to say. I don't think I've missed anything. I'm scanning. I've got no glasses on, so it's in massive font. Now look at this professional i don't know if you can read it but that's stuck to my steering wheel <laughs> anyway i think that's it if i've missed anything eh whatever so as usual comments and stuff in the bottom about what we can discuss on another vlog um please like subscribe if you don't already and, and share it we're, we're growing quite well uh considering you know sometimes i think oh we've only got close to 500 but uh, I've already noticed more and more new people in the comments. So I used to remember a lot of your names. Now there's a lot of new people, which is great. I don't want to be a massive channel. I don't want to earn money off it. I've turned off adverts and eBay. Of, eBay. What am I doing this morning? YouTube have offered me monetization. What's the word? I don't know. And I've turned that off. I don't want to make no money off it. I don't want adverts. It really irritates me. Um, so, yeah, it's just really for fun. Hence, you know, if people judge it and don't like it, I don't really care. I'm not trying to not trying to please anybody. Anyway, this is far too long. Nearly nine minutes. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. I shall catch you on another. I'll throw some links up the top and stuff now at the end because I know how to do it. Here, here and here and there and there. Goodbye.